Nibbles by Nick specializes in corporate wellness presentations, one-on-one -on -one client sessions, and workshops. I worked with so many great companies such as Deutsche Bank, UBS, Kenneth Cole, Cushman and Wakefield, and Empire State Realty Trust. Our lives, our work days, we are so busy, and there's so much out there on healthy eating and nutrition. But what separates this workshop is that we focus on the meal planning process, how to use the supermarket as a preventative pharmacy. My focus remains on how to tie meal planning with nutrition and weight loss through time, efficiency, and habit changes, giving people less stress and so much more confidence in the kitchen. Now more than ever, post-COVID, we need to hold hands. We need to come together and build our nutrition, get our immunity stronger, and learn how to meal prep. It's time for us to control our nutritional destiny and come together as a team. We need to work towards getting our immunity stronger, our nutrition better, and meal planning. And that's where it all stems from. I knew in my heart, I've always wanted to develop a workshop that gave people self-assurance to prepare 21 meals a week on their time. My program is not only fun and exciting, but it's super interactive. The amount of tips and tricks your team is going to learn is invaluable. The 3 p.m. snack, let me tell you why it's crucial. Lunch, 12, 1 o'clock dinner, six, seven, even eight o'clock, we need something in the middle of that time to satiate us and keep our energy going throughout the workday. Now, here are some of my favorite ideas. A collie oat sundae. I make this at the beginning of the week and then I dish some into a container every single day. It's just rice cauliflower, some oatmeal, some plant-based milk, some berries, that's it. Number two roasted veggies with guac. Now again, we're roasting those veggies on the weekend. We are not doing that every single day. If you don't have roasted veggies, you can do a veggie chip. Just make sure that it is all natural vegetables and nothing else added. A good cracker with peanut butter. And what do I mean by good? I want chia seeds, black seeds, whole grains. I want those omegas in there with a all natural nut butter no sugar added. Pizza rice cakes made with hummus and fresh cucumber and tomato. Another wonderful way to incorporate a little bit of carbohydrate with great protein and fat in the hummus, adding in your vegetable with the fresh cucumber and tomato. Wonderful 3 p.m. snack. And finally, a low sugar yogurt of your choice with chopped nuts. Now, you can do walnuts, you can do peanuts, you can do pecans, cashews, whatever nut you choose. And as far as the, the yogurt is concerned, I just want you to look at that label and make sure there is no added sugar. I need you to promise me that you are gonna take 10 minutes to plan for the week. And I don't care when those 10 minutes are because everybody is on a different schedule but here's what I need you to do. Number one, organize your meals to be consistent. And what do I mean by that? Maybe Monday is just a meatless Monday. Tuesday is Taco Tuesday, but it doesn't have to be tacos every Tuesday because that can get a little boring. We can do fajitas too. Number two, peruse recipes. Now, what does that mean? It means wherever you are, if you're in the supermarket waiting for checkout and you see some magazines, get some ideas. Watch the cooking channel leave some recipes hanging out for the kids to see. That is how we make our meal planning calendar successful, when everybody has input. Number three, order what you need online. These days, we are busy people and we just don't have time to go to the market, but we do have 10 minutes to go online, get a list together. There are plenty of apps where everybody in the family can be cohesive and put what they want onto the app, it's all perfectly in sync. Number four, chop, wash, and thaw, everyone. Now this is a huge one. Chopping takes so much time. And I know the veggies might not last all seven days, but if you get into the habit of possibly Saturday or Sunday chopping those veggies and then doing another second round, 
on Wednesday morning, you are gonna be set for the week and save yourself so much time. Number five, prep your proteins and your grains. Dinner time it should never be about cooking. That five, six o'clock hour should only be about assembling. And that is why you have to prep your proteins and your greens from the get-go. Chicken, beef, whatever you can, even tofu, try and get that done in advance. So I see that a lot of us are struggling with what kitchen tools do I really need according to all these votes. Now, I don't blame you. It's completely overwhelming, but that's okay because I am here to narrow that down for you. Now let's talk about the five essential kitchen tools that you need to be comfortable and confident in the kitchen. Number one, the crock pot or the instant pot. Now, the crock pot and the instant pot have a lot of the similar features. The instant pot has a pressure cooker incorporated in it, which makes it a little more versatile and unique. However, the crock pot, as you can see here, is an amazing tool to have in the kitchen. And why? Because you can prep before work, in the morning, your dinner, and come home to a ready-made soup, stew, sauce, barbecue pulled chicken sandwiches. There's just, the list goes on and on and on. Now, another thing I wanna mention is that the crock pot can be used during a holiday. And let's face it, nobody likes cold food. So did you know that you can put your mashed potatoes in the crock pot while you are serving dinner and they'll stay warm? Cool, right? Overnight oatmeal. Kids are busy, you're busy. How nice is it to think about a warm bowl of oatmeal in the morning? You can make an oatmeal bar, have out toppings and different fun things to put in the oatmeal, flaxseed, chia seeds, the list goes on and on and on. Number two, a large oven safe skillet. So, this is a cast iron skillet. They last forever. They're wonderful because what you can do is sear your food and then you can actually braise it. Number three, a baking dish. Now, what you wanna do is make sure you have a baking dish that is oven safe and dishwasher safe. That way you can use it for baking, for serving, and then it goes right in the dishwasher. So easy peasy for pasta bakes and casseroles. Great, number four, the extra large rimmed baking sheet. Why do I say extra large? Because you can do a sheet pan meal and it's so simple. Vegetable, protein, carbohydrate, take the foil off, and put it in a bowl, and toss it in the garbage can. No mess, no cleanup, amazing. And don't forget the rims. It is critical because you do not want that food or that liquid spilling over into the oven. And the Dutch oven. Kinda looks brand new, but I have news for you. This is 20 years old. I think I got it as a wedding present, which is kind of ironic because I would marry this thing. That's how much I love it. I use it for everything. Again, soups and stews and the list goes on and on and on. Plus it's really pretty and I just leave it on my stove top. So it adds a lot of uh, nice decor to the kitchen. And finally, the bonus, the air fryer. Now the air fryer has gotten a lot of attention lately. You might be getting a little cocky, but it deserves it and I'll tell you why. The air fryer makes everything crispy in a very healthy, non-oily way. Not only frozen food like french fries and chicken nuggets, but even healthier food we can put in there. You wanna crisp up your asparagus? Put a little olive oil, broccoli, string beans, the list again goes on and on and on. I'm looking forward to helping you feel stress-free and more confidence in the kitchen.